Rachel Herniak, and I'm the president of Outclass at NYU Stern School of Business. Um, and the club is comprised of um, about 80 members right now, and we expect to get probably 50 more over the course of the year. Up front in October, we have a very busy month planned. We're going to have a fall membership drive, kind of in alignment with National Coming Out Day, um, Ramba. Um, we're going to be meeting with a marketing professor to kind of go over our value proposition and make sure that we are offering as much value to our members and allies as we can. Um, other than that, we try and be involved in a lot of diversity and inclusion events and um, awareness activities at school. And then we have a lot of social events so we can get to know each other, um, become a family. Uh, events include brunches, karaoke, and private room. I don't like the big room. Um, and we're gonna rent a, we're at, I'm at NYU, and so we have a fabulous film school right there on campus. We're gonna rent um, a theater and have a movie screening, which will be really fun. And that's just October. And then our marquee event is the, we host the largest non-school funded party of the year called Schools Out, So Are We, which is pretty funny. And um, we uh, just kind of take over the night. Our class leads the way. Um, it's maybe four or five hours of just joy that classes are done, we're free, it's um, summer's here, everyone's excited about their internships, and we kind of send the class off um, in our class fashion. We're constantly trying to um, make sure that we are inclusive to our allies. So when we have an event, we kind of take a moment, pause, and say, are we marketing this? Are we including our allies? What may they be confused about? I think for LGBTQ clubs in general, there's sometimes some confusion whether or not allies are invited to attend. And we have a policy that allies can attend any event, um, uh, except for maybe some very career-focused events where companies come in and want to meet with um, LGBTQ journeys. I think for a lot of LGBTQ clubs, um, no matter if they're at business schools or companies or high schools, colleges, it can be tough engaging allies, especially since we've seen so much progress. So a lot of times um, it can be hard to remind people that we still have a far way to go. Um, but I think at Stern, people come to NYU because they are interested in diversity. And I love going to NYU Stern School of Business because it is located literally in the same area where the LGBTQ civil rights movement began at Stonewall in um, the late 60s. And I know, personally speaking, when I came out in my own life, I had some family and friends who told me my career was over. Um, and that was certainly the case for the folks who launched our movement. Um, the idea that you could be both LGBTQ and in business was completely foreign to them. So if you're applying to NYU Stern, um, I fully recommend being as out on your application as you're willing to be. I think as a community, we need to stop looking at it as a weakness and start seeing it as a strength. Um, the recruiters that come to this conference at Ramba are absolutely incredible and they don't really, some of them do not go to career fairs generally. And I think that companies are finding that LGBTQ talent is worth it because for a lot of us, we have already faced the largest challenge we will have ever faced in our lives. And we were willing to stand with ourselves against kind of the room and speak our truth. And I can't think of anything more important in a business leader than that. So I highly recommend being as out as possible on your application.